Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started. By writing our denominators cannot be 0. So x cannot be equal to negative 1. Now x square plus 1 will be always positive for x to be real. Now we will use substitutions. Let us say the square root of x plus 1 whole square plus 1 equal to a. And let us say the square root of x square plus 1. Suppose this is equal to b. Now we will square both sides. So we can write x plus 1 whole square plus 1 equal to a square and we will take a squaring here and get x square plus 1 equal to b square. Now we are going to use a plus b whole square formula. So we will get x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 1 equal to a square or we can write x square plus 2x plus 2 equal to a square. Now we are going to subtract the second equation from this equation. So I will write x square plus 1 equal to b square. Let us subtract. So sign change will be there. We will cancel x square with minus x square. So we can write 2x plus 1 equal to a square minus b square. So from here, we'll subtract 1 from both the sides and we can write 2x plus 1 minus 1 equal to a square minus b square minus 1. Plus 1 and minus 1 will be over. We will get 2x equal to a square minus b square minus 1. Now we will divide both sides by 2 to get the value of x. So here we are getting x equal to a square minus b square minus 1 over 2. Now here we are going to write a. Denominator is b. So we have to find the value of x over x plus 1. x is here. So we will find x plus 1. x plus 1 will be a square minus b square minus 1 over 2 plus 1. Now we will take LCM and we will get a square minus b square minus 1 plus 2 over 2. Or we can write x plus 1 value a square plus 1 minus b square or a square minus b square plus 1 over 2. Now we have to find x over x plus 1. So here we have x. Here we have x plus 1. Let's divide. We will get x over x plus 1 will be equal to a square minus b square minus 1 over 2 over x plus 1 a square minus b square plus 1 over 2. So we will cancel 2 and 2 from the denominators. We will get a square minus b square minus 1 over a square minus b square plus 1. So this is our a over b and here we are going to write a square minus b square minus 1 over a square minus b square plus 1. So let me write our equation. So I can write a over b plus a square minus b square minus 1 over a square minus b square plus 1 equal to 0. 
now we will take lcm so a times a square minus b square plus 1 plus b times a square minus b square minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will expand. So I can write here a times a square minus b square. Then a times 1 is a. Then we will write b times a square minus b square. b times minus 1 is minus b equal to 0. Now we will take these two terms all together and these two terms all together. So we can write a times a square minus b square. Then we will write b times a square minus b square. Then we will write a minus b equal to 0. Now from these two terms, we can take a square minus b square common out. So in other bracket, we will get a plus b. Then we have a minus b equal to 0. Now we will use difference of two squares identity and we can write a plus b times a minus b times a plus b plus a minus b equal to 0 or we can write a minus b times a plus b whole square plus a minus b equal to 0. Now we can take a minus b common out, overall common. So we will get a plus b whole square plus 1 in other bracket equal to 0. Now we can use product 0 rule and we can write either a minus b equal to 0 or a plus b whole square plus 1 equal to 0. So a plus b whole square is always positive. A positive number plus 1 will always give us positive number. It cannot be 0. So we can write here complex solutions. So we will reject this equation as we are looking for real solutions. So a minus b equal to 0. From here I can write a equal to b. Now we will square both sides. If a equal to b then a square will be equal to b square. This was a numerator only and this was b. So squaring will cancel a square root. So I will write here x plus 1 whole a square plus 1 equal to x square plus 1. We can subtract 1 from both the sides so that plus 1 will get over. Now we will write x plus 1 whole a square equal to x square. Again, we will use a plus b whole square identity and we will write x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to x square. Now we will subtract x square from both the sides. So plus x square minus x square plus x square minus x square will be cancelled out. We will get 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will subtract 1 from both the sides. So 2x equal to negative 1. We will divide both sides by 2 to get the answer x equal to minus half. Now we are going to check our solution. Minus half. So I will write here check x equal to negative half. Equation is here. We will begin with LHS and we have to prove that LHS equal to 0. 
So square root of x plus one whole square. X is minus half, so I will write minus half plus one whole square in the numerator plus one over square root of minus one by two whole square plus one. Then we will write plus sign x is there, so minus half over minus half plus one. Now one minus half is half. We will get a square root of half a square plus one in the numerator over a square root of minus a square is plus, so I can write half a square plus one. Then we will consider minus sign over here, and in the numerator we will write half. In the denominator there will be half. So these two terms will get over. We will write one here. Here also we will get one. So one minus one equal to zero, and this is our RHS. LHS equal to RHS. That means our solution x equal to minus half is true solution. I hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye